sponsored by Catchpoint, the leader in digital experience management. Hi folks, Joe McCarthy here from Catchpoint. And in this final DNS series video, I'll be talking about DNS Anycast and the advantages it provides. But using Anycast can make troubleshooting DNS issues very hard unless you have one trick up your sleeve. First, a quick refresher on the benefits of using Anycast over Unicast. And pretty much all major DNS and CDN providers who use the Anycast approach. With Anycast, one IP address can be mapped to numerous servers. It's a one-to-many relationship. For Unicast, it's single IP to single server, so one-to-one -one relationship. Now the benefits for Anycast is it provides load balancing, reduces latency, as the servers are geographically dispersed all over the globe. So depending on your location, will dictate which server you use. And having many servers helps protect against DNS flood attacks, commonly known as DDoS attacks. So Anycast sounds great, right? But there's always a downside. Because Anycast maps a single IP to many servers, if you don't enable a specific function called Name Server Identifier, or NSAID, it's very hard, if not impossible, to troubleshoot DNS issues because all the servers have the same IP. Luckily, with Catchpoint's DNS monitor, you can enable NSAID, which will show exactly which DNS server has processed the request. In this view, I'm creating a new DNS test. So you can see type DNS. You can choose direct or experience. I always like using experience. That way I can see all the different levels that's happening through the DNS experience. And then to turn on NSAID, down under advanced settings, click on the down arrow. Scroll down to the bottom. Here you see name server host name lookup mechanism. Select that. And you can go back to the main page. And here you have bind host name or select NSAID. That's how you can enable the NSAID feature for DNS monitoring. So no more guesswork when it comes to troubleshooting your DNS issues. So to show the power of having the name server identifier tag set, here we're looking at a scatter plot view of a NSAID DNS test, as I have NSAID enabled. And looking at this scatter plot, we can see every DNS transaction in the top left. We can see this transaction from going to Boston, checking the DNS from Boston using Cogent as the provider. It took over 1.8 seconds to process that request. Compare this to another Boston request I found right here, going using AT&T as a provider. This only took 164 milliseconds. So what was the big difference going to the same location? With NSAID enabled, we can figure that out. So I'll show a side-by-side -side comparison of these two tests so you can visually see the differences. So looking at the two DNS records, you can see the overall response times, and you can see they're using the same authoritative name server, ns-958.awsdns-55.net, which is using Anycast. So one IP address, but is pointing to 10, 20, or more different servers with the same IP. You just don't know which server will handle the actual request. So what's interesting about this test, it's resolving www.catchpoint.com from Boston, but from two different providers, Cogent and AT&T. To this point, all the data is the same except for the response times. So how would you figure out where the problem is? All the information is pointing to the same DNS server's IP. Because we can enable NSAID, we're able to extract the actual server IDs that processed each request, even when using Anycast. And you can see the server IDs are different. So now you know where to focus. So imagine trying to figure out why some users are having a poor user experience when all I can go on is the top level IP. Talk about finding a needle in a haystack. So what's my favorite saying? Work smarter, not harder, with Catchpoint. As always, thanks for watching. And to view any of the tip of the day videos, please visit the link provided. Sponsored by Catchpoint, the leader in digital experience management.